Hi, welcome back to Team Wool Sheep Reviews. Now, you've probably seen a lot of the hype. These are the FR Sky uh, gimbals. The new. I bought them. First thing I had to do, go on YouTube, have a look, see how I fit them, what, what, what. So I decided to do a quick video explaining what they are and the benefits of them very quickly. Um, and roughly how they should go into your transmitter. So these are what they are. These come from T9 Hobby Sport. Right, what is it? That's what you get. So obviously you need two of them. This is what you're replacing. This is very nice, aluminium. It looks uh, good quality. And the difference is with these, they got these sensors, which are called hole sensors. Now, the older type gimbals had what's called a potentiometer. Now a potentiometer is something like this. Now this is the old fashioned type dial. You probably see them in the films when they turn the power up and turn the power down and you've got a, a variable resistance there. There's a, that's a, known, a fixed resistor from that point to that point. Now what it does is there's a center connection with a wiper and there's normally like a brush connection on there that makes contact with that resistance. Now in the middle, the, it, it, we'll, we'll use uh, the terminology, there, there is electricity going th through this arm. Now in that position, that's a shorter resistance, there's less coils, so that would be more electricity coming out of there than there would be out of this side. So the flow of electricity would be down through there, there would be more through there than there is there because it's got a longer uh, resistance to go through. So it knows in the center position, there's equal amounts of electricity coming out of either side. So the electricity is going up the arm, making connection with the coil, has got the same amount of journey to travel through that winding and go there. Now the electronics looks at these connections and then when the electricity is becoming higher that way, they know that you're turning the stick, your gimbal, and moving the potentiometer inside the gimbal into a certain direction. So they know which way is up and which way is down depending on how much electricity is flowing out of these connections. Now, the more modern types are like that. So this is the arm that moves. So this arm moves back and forth like so. And what it does is like a little carbon brush connection there. And this might be a carbon track. Works in exactly the same principle. Now there's mechanical connection there because obviously then you've got the mechanical part there, you've got the carbon brushes that make contact with this carbon track and they're all wearing parts. So what happens is where the stick spends most of its time in the center, the center gets very worn and it gets worn out. And then you find that sometimes your sticks don't work very good or the, the craft doesn't stay central. So if it's a plane, it might be drifting and, and all sorts of weird things happening. And that is because this is starting to break down. Now with the new Hall Effect sensors and the higher quality, instead of having all this wearing parts, they put a sensor and they have a magnet that moves back and forth with the mechanism. So there's no physical connections. So it's all done by sensor and the wonders of magnetism. So that is basically what a hall sensor is doing. So instead of you having all these wearing parts with things moving and wiping and dirty connections and in time, it'll start to break down. You've got a lovely sensor sat there with a, a magnetic field. The further the magnet goes away that way, then the sensor knows that the, the magnetism has changed from this side to this side and that, that is where, where it's done. So the electronics that's being worked in there is detecting where the magnet is, which side of the sensor is, how far away it is, etc, etc. So it's a little bit of wizardry, a lot of high quality stuff. Like I said, the two axes of the gimbal, there's one sensor there and there's one sensor there. And inside the mechanisms, as they're moving around, there's little magnets. So it's uh, it's quite simple. And like I said, if, if I don't know whether you can see it, there is actually like a little arc, like I've drawn there, where the magnet will be set inside there. So as it passes the front of the sensor, it knows which direction is traveling. And that's simply it. So there's no moving parts. There's bearings 
it's ball race so it's nice and smooth but they're not spinning fast or doing anything so the movement should be fine so that is basically it now a lot of people are saying about oh, what do i do about the throttle obviously sprung both ways but as you can see these arms if you lock up that they give you a little screw to go in there which i'll show you later put the screw in there then there's no there's no springiness on there it's, that'll just go wherever it, it wants and that's all you're lifting that up out the way there's little tensioners these little holes there with this little allen key i think they are the is it 1.5 mil uh yeah so they little allen it is now i found i've screwed them all the way in clockwise as far as they go to reduce the spring tension and there's another one there and i found that that's i find it much better i don't like too much uh spring for the return i got it nice and loose just the way i like it so that is basically a little bit of background a bit of electronics so this is uh, an electronic upgrade for your tyrannis these shouldn't wear out they should last forever right so what does this actually mean let's look in clean flight now my receivers in play and if you look see that 1508 15 okay. jumping around all those figures if as i move the sticks around it's a stop in 1509 low battery 1510 1508 now as i touch the sticks the pitch low battery the pitch 15 1501 as i move in this touching the stick it comes back slightly different figures low battery same as the yaw 1502 1501 sorry about that so as you can see that there's there's little drifts going on um from the tyrannis so it's not too bad they're all about 1500 pretty good with this uh this setup but you can see that there's if i if i touch the roll it goes to 57 if i go the other way and i leave it center it's 1511 it's still i'm not touching the sticks i'm moving them letting them center back to themselves but they're never quite accurate 15.8 if i go that way and if i gently put it back to the center 15.6 15. so there's little fluctuations this is what they mean when they start talking about all oh, the resolution this and the we will do the same test after i've done them and uh, so when i've changed them out we'll then do the test okay. again right so there it is throttle cyclic now comes the all important for my switches power on right and as you can see now i've powered up in clean flight and they're 15 sometimes they flicker into 14.99 but the difference is now they always return back to back to 1500 and because they are magnetic and not wearing any parts then we should have exactly the same unless the springs wear but uh, yeah so the center position is always 1500 and as you can see they're quite stable they, they stay in there my other one was uh, was all over the place there are adjustments you can make in the tyrannis for the center position now what i did do i went through and i checked all my endpoints and recalibrated those settings in clean flight just because obviously there's slightly different uh different uh, characteristics of these gimbals so they're all set up but as you can see they're all pretty much 1500 the top three obviously so yeah that's the new gimbals <laughs> <clears throat> sorry highly recommended these are genuine um as you can see free sky fr sky gimbals they're the m9 hall gimbals highly recommended uh like i said i bought these from t9hobbysport.com uh, i suggest you uh, get online keep an eye when you see them pre-order get them ordered I know free sky can't get enough of these they're going all over the world they're going like hotcakes so don't mess about when you see them available pre-order or in stock get them ordered 
get them in your Tyrannus because it's the best upgrade you're going to do. Thank you once again for tuning in to Team Woolly Sheep. Now go out and buy the gimbals because you've got to have them. You've got to have them. Whoa.